Hey, hey, what's up, beautiful people? Welcome to February 1st. And here's your daily energy report. But before I get into that, don't forget, guess the background of this video and win a free reading with me. The website uh, is still working on its upgrades and updates. So until that is done, I'm going to continue to give this to you guys here. Um, I appreciate you guys for your support. I appreciate your likes, your shares, your describe, your sub describes, your subscribes. Thank you so very much. Um, and uh, if you'd like a reading for me, or if you'd like to join the bomb ass opportunity community, go ahead and you can still go to the to my website um, and go ahead and check all that out over there. Uh, download my free ebook as well, decrypting the language of the human body. Um, I love you all very much. We are stepping into some, uh, February is going to be a very, very transitional month. It's like January was really the last month of 2020, right? Uh, a lot of, a lot of upheavals, a lot of like just shit being thrown up, a lot of, a lot of karmic endings. Um, I've been noticing a lot of people, uh, having like endings and new beginnings with relationships with, with old people, with new people, learning big, big lessons and getting their shit thrown right in their face and be like, what are you going to do about it? Right. That's kind of. When you get to the point, like, especially if you've been, you know, stubbornly, you know, fighting it, it's like right now it's time to shit or get off the pot. And, um, and the pot is screaming at us. And today, of course, like I, sp like I talked about in my February energy report, we have a yod to start this month off. We, we also had a yod to start off January as well. So these, these, these months are very significant for change. And because of the sheer amount of Aquarian energy, whatever house uh, Aquarius is in your chart, go look that up because this is going to be massive, massive changes for you. Um, for me, it's in my 10th house. So, you know, that's life purpose, that's career, that's fatherhood, all that stuff. Um, so, you know, the Aquarian energy is unexpected shifts and changes. It's, it's, it's healthy detachment. It's learning how to um, accept and, and, um, and, and grow. And we're going to have a lot of you know, redirecting and rediscovering in this area. So today in particular, um, we have Venus entering Aquarius as well. So that's pretty significant. You know, Venus is, you know, going from Capricorn, especially that conjunction to Pluto brought up all the stuff. And now it's like, I don't want to say it's freedom, but it's, it's suddenly wanting to feel free from the constrictions of maybe old belief systems, old patterns, old habits, old relationships that are not serving us anymore, all that kind of stuff. All right. And we have the moon, uh, today that's uh, going to be in Libra and it's trining to uh, to Venus, Saturn, and uh, Jupiter. All right, so that's going to be beautiful. It'll it'll also trine the Sun as well. Uh, so of course we are a Mercury retrograde. So you know try not to get in your head too much. But this Yod is between White Moon Selena and the Moon, and they are both quincunx over to Uranus. <laughs> um, so well, you know. Yeah, it's going to be quincunx to Uranus. So whenever there's, I mean, this this Uranian energy is going to be dominant for pretty much the entire month, um, you know, because Uranus rules Aquarius. I just, I love the word Uranus. It should be Uranus, but whatever, potato, potato, right? So the great awakener is being, is being nudged like, ah, you can't do this. And then your uh, Uranus is like, oh yeah, uh, okay, I'll show you. Let's see what you got, <laughs> right? So if you don't want to deal with the let's see what you got energy, right? Now, that energy is actually kind of dominant right now. Like, okay, let's see what we got. Let's see like how we how much we can push. Let's see where we're going to go. Let's see what potential you have, right? Like like we're feeling this energy of just like we got to make some, some, some shit happen. We got to move. We got to flow. We got to organized we get a structure we got to find these new things we got to you know create these new avenues of income whatever it is okay we got to find this new love want to create this new passion all these creative ideas are flowing around all these downloads and people are getting many more like um the the, the way that we're interpreting energy is is expanding so i know a lot of people are getting a lot of new downloads in new kind of ways getting a lot of intuitive insights uh, insights epiphanies things like that um, but it's coming through so fast that the the ego or the cognitive brain, the the left brain, is having a very difficult time to understand it, especially if you haven't done the work, right? This is where we have to, you know, really, this is where the work, the internal work really, really begins, where healthy detachment, 
right? Stepping back, allowing the energy to flow through us as opposed to getting attached to trying to figure it out is all very, very important right now. So today, especially with the moon, the, the moon's in a great place, but we are going to get probably like a massive amount of downloads, a mass, um, and this could come in the physical body in the form of aches and pains or, um, you know, uh, just if we, if we get attached to things, it could really create physical issues because, you know, Taurus, Uranus and Taurus represents the physical body. Um, but also be patient with technology <laughs> or, you know, you may have to, I know for me, I'm having to learn all these new aspects of technology, but, um, you know, technology is going to also be taking the forefront. A lot, a lot of uh, advances are just coming out so fast and we have to, you know, measure up and, you know, go with that as well. So if you're like me and you're a little slow with it, you need to surround yourself with people that are good with it. You know, you know what I'm saying? So do that and step into it and just keep yourself in the present moment the best you can. It's easy. Like this is very airy, but fixed airy. Like you get attached to something and you just get obsessed with trying to figure out or to wanting to know it. And that can be slightly detrimental. Okay. So let's all, you know, we got this one step at a time. All right. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific on Instagram and YouTube for my weekly live energy report. And I'm also going to be going live later this week with you, yourself, and why Steve Gardner, uh, Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific, uh, to talk about whatever it is that we're going to talk about. <laughs> um, and I'm also going to be going, uh, doing a podcast with um, Psychic Babes as well. Uh, later on today. I don't know if that's going to be live or not, but I will let you guys know. Um, and other than that, guys, stay strong, stay up, keep doing what you're doing, keep doing what you love, whatever it is that you're, pas you're passionate about, your creative energy, focus on the creativity of what you want, not in all the problems you have, okay? Because we all have issues and problems, but I guarantee when you focus on solutions and you focus on what you want to create, those problems will suddenly be worked out just at the very last minute. So this is all about trust and faith, all right? Keep up the good work. I love y'all. Aho. I'll see you soon.